Well, they tell me of a home far beyond the sky. Well, they tell me of a home far away. Well, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, the land of cloudless day. Oh, the land of an unclouded sky. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. each and every one of you got a tip to our show here hope that you can enjoy what we bring to you tonight and we hope that the song we done will touch somebody's heart will give you inspired for those who are going through hard times those who have a face in sickness those who have lost loved ones and there are so many problems things in the world today but yet we can find peace with God Amen. knowing that for the Bible tells us in their the book of Psalms I once was young, and I'm now old, but I've never seen God forsaken you or his seed to, to have to, to <clears throat> beg. So, just the next one. So, uh, before you start on, we'll, I'm going to say a word of prayer for us so that we can try to do the best we can under the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, because of everything that we see going on in the world today, the troubles we have within our government, and everything that's here. That we just know that it's hard times, and we know we need to pray. Yes. But I bless, Lord, that, that you all tell her will understand to what God's will is going to be done. We know that there's going to be those who are in living in the wrong ways, that the wrath of God is going to come down on us because we have failed to do what God wants us to do. When you look around the way that things happen in the world, people not going to church, we know, Lord, that, that uh, they're just not listening to you, and the Spirit needs to work there, but still, it's your will, and we accept that. So as I say, we hope that every word that we speak tonight and every song that we sing will encourage people today. And if you know the Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will strengthen them, keep them as I under thy care, yes, and help them, Lord, that, that we'll be prepared to escape the things that this is going to happen in this, in this seven-year tribulation when it starts. Now, anoint this thing and be with those in the hospital, in the nursing homes, wherever. And we'll give you the praise for it. Ask Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion? Okay, the next one we like to do is this is 92 your books all victory in Jesus. Let me hit you. I heard an old old story how a savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his of his precious love's atoning. Then I repented of my 
Try Amazing Grace next thing. 203, you already got a sound, eh? Unless you found it first. Okay.
Now we'd like to say good evening and once again to each one of you. It's great to be here that we can share an hour of time together, praising the Lord God of heaven. Now Ron and Joe couldn't be with us this evening. Hey, we're out on a honeymoon or something he's talking about. I'm not real sure. Maybe they're lost out in the brush somewhere. I don't know. Maybe on the coon hunt or whatever. But wherever they are, I hope they're having a good time. We miss them this evening. And we appreciate Ron jumping in and uh, doing the talking for us and getting things going. And God always supplies everything that you need if you just trust and believe in Him. And we got some requests right there at the end. Ron just saying, uh, want us to be together in heaven for Ethel Simons. And Joyetta Moran uh, for, uh, oh, Daryl and Alish, I uh, feel the Lord touched me. And that was for William White and sing any song for Cat Channel. Cat, we're glad you're watching this evening. We'll leave this paper here on the podium where they can find it, and they'll sort that out here in a little bit. We're going to uh, share some Bible truths with you, as Brother John Bunner always said, you know, uh, uh, I want to tell you some truth about the Lord. I want to tell you that Christ said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by Christ and Christ alone. And there are so many uh, stories in this Bible that are not fairy tales, but it's truth. The true word of God. From Genesis to Revelations, it tells us uh, about uh, the suffering of Christians and about uh, and our conduct in light of salvation that is complete. Because when Jesus Christ went to the cross, he completed everything. The whole price had been paid. And we've been reading a lot in the Old Testament about uh, the old uh, folks there that had to bring their animals in and uh, the priest had to sacrifice them and all the things they had to do. And, and I'll tell you, I thank God that we don't have to go through that anymore. But our sacrifice has already been made, and that's Jesus Christ. And all we have to do is accept him as our Lord and Savior. And when we do that... He takes care of everything else. We'll make mistakes and we'll fall short, but God promises that His grace is sufficient, just as He told Brother Paul. If you have your Bibles there close at hand tonight, we'd like for you to read along with us. Uh, from the first epistle of Peter, uh, first epistle of Peter, uh, the first verse, and we'd like to start reading about the third verse of the first chapter. First Peter 1, Verse 3, listen carefully to what the Lord is saying to the church this evening. What he's saying to you, what he's saying to me. We're thankful for all of you that tune in, and we're thankful for all of you that support us in your prayers and finances. This wouldn't be possible without you. And we thank God that he touches you through his spirit that we can continue on 
in, in this Christian service. And the Lord says, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God, through faith and to salvation, ready to be revealed in the last times. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness to manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than the gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ." Whom having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now we see him not, yet believing, yet ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and wise Heavenly Fathers, we enter your presence once again this evening. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be here tonight and go out by the way of television. What a joy it is to proclaim you as King of kings and Lord of lords. And Lord, we know that there's great temptation. There's great uh, wickedness out there that Lord would destroy us if we just allowed it to happen. But Jesus, we know if we call on your name, Jesus, because of the cross, because Jesus said you were resurrected from the dead, we now have hope and have it more abundantly. Now, Lord, we ask that you would bless your word and you would bless us, Lord, with a double portion of your Holy Spirit, that we'd speak only the words that you would have brought forth. Lord, that it'll touch the hearts of your children and uh, encourage them and strengthen them, Lord, to serve you more faithful than ever before. And Lord, if there's one watching that doesn't know you, that they would accept before this service is over. And for these things we ask in Jesus' name. And amen and amen. I'm so thankful that we have the blessed hope of eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. I am a firm believer in eternal security. I believe that once we uh, fall on our knees and we ask Jesus Christ to be Lord of our life, faith believing, that he's going to save us and cleanse us from all of our iniquities in the past and in the present and into the future. Now, just because we ask Christ to forgive us doesn't mean we can go back and do the wicked things and uh, and and not have to worry about it because that's not what God's Word teaches us. It teaches us as we accept the Lord, our love for Him is to grow day by day, moment by moment. And, and I love God more today and than, than I did back when I was nine years old when I asked Him to be Lord of my life. And I know I'm going to love Him more tomorrow than love Him today and the day after because your love just increases day by day. The joy that He places within you. Some of the old folks used to say, man, it just gets gooder and gooder. And I remember old brother Burl Coberly. He'd raise his old hands. He had problems with him. He'd get up and he'd, he'd say, boy, she just gets sweeter and sweeter. And we sang that old song, Victory in Jesus, sir, a little while ago. And I thought of the old amen corner up the church where the old guys used to get up there and the preacher would be preaching and they'd be shouting, amen, praise the Lord, and stomping their feet. And sometimes they'd jump to their feet and maybe run down an aisle or back up across the pews. And <laughs> glory to God, my, what times those were. Many young people today doesn't has never seen an old-fashioned revival. Has never seen people get happy. And you know whose fault that is? That's our own. Because we haven't preached messages like them old hellfire and brimstone preachers preached. We haven't given the guidance and direction and, uh, oh, that's all right, just let that go. Well, it's not all right. There's going to be great trials and tribulation within our lives. And don't let the devil steal your joy away from you. Now, he can't take your salvation, but I assure you, he can get on your power line. And when he shorts you out, you're going to be in trouble. Today, they came. I've been working on the garage, and they come and hooked up my electric. And I told that old fellow from 
uh, Ma and Pyre, I said, you're a real Pyre, man. You're going to deliver the Pyre. And you see, that's what we're supposed to do as, as a preacher of the gospel, a minister of the gospel. Not just me, but the Lord commissioned us all to go and to preach and to teach others about Jesus Christ. And we need to be plugged into the power of Christ that uh, we can tell people about Him. And that they'll see that there's great joy in serving God. Now, Saturday, as I mentioned yesterday at church, I spent most of the day just standing there running like that and asked if I knew what I was doing. And said, well, it ain't snowed yet. It couldn't have been shoveling snow. And I said I was really stirring things up because uh, we went up at Rachel's and uh, Vonda Hamner and Roger and a bunch of us got together and Eunice and, and we made a big old kettle apple butter. And I'll tell you now, it was tiring standing there just a, a stern and a stern, but when it, we was able to go uh, toward the end and, and get us a piece of that old homemade light bread and just rub it on the side of that kettle and put it in, oh my, uh, that was a wonderful reward for the labors you put forth. And folks, there's many times that it gets tiring maybe to, uh, to get up and your old physical body don't want to go to church or doesn't want to do this. And you see, the physical body is what is of the flesh. And the devil will tell you, oh, you don't need to go to Bible study. You don't need to go to Sunday morning service. You just don't need none of that stuff. You don't need to visit the nursing home. And, you know, as I heard a preacher preach not long ago, the old, uh, the old devil's giving you a haircut. He's cutting your hair off a little bit at a time. And, you know, old Samson lost his strength when he got his hair cut. It wasn't his hair that had the strength, but it was a vow that he had made to God that... Uh, indeed, there'd not be a razor uh, touch his head, but he allowed that to happen. Now, folks, we're allowing things to happen in our life that brings tribulation to us. And if you haven't been praying for our president and for our Congress and legislature and all of these in the last few days, you're, uh, you're just not doing your duty. For the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments and pray for the leaders of your nation. That they, God will take a hold on them. You know what I'd like to see them do up there is get down on their old knees inside the Capitol uh, in the rotunda or over in the White House and, and come on, boys, let's get on our knees. Let's ask God what to do. And I'll tell you, he can take care of your budget. You never have to worry about electric bill, water bill. Never worry uh, about owing another country money for anything because God said that he would provide. And everything that we need will be provided. And that's what he says here. There's going to be tribulation. There's going to be trial. But if you've accepted Christ, you have reservation in heaven. Already written down, your name is in the Lamb Book of Life. And one day Jesus will call that off. And whenever you walk down before the judgment seat of Christ, uh, the old devil is going to be there to accuse you. And no matter what he says, Christ is going to say, Dad, it's all paid for. By the blood that I shed on Calvary. It's all washed and it's cleaned and it's purified. And I know that God can do mysterious things. And he does them many times. Shows us great, wonderful miracles that we can realize that it couldn't have happened any other way. But by the power of God. I told him up at the church there. And well, I suppose you still got your, your cattle. I still got my glasses there. And I know you're watching this evening. Maynard, you hold on to your glasses there. And what that's all about is part of this scripture, trusting in the Lord in tribulation time. I was up in the woods cutting the path out and lost my glasses. I looked for them for about a day and couldn't find them. And finally, uh, the wife went up and looked a while. And in the end, I said, now, Lord, I remember over in, I believe it's Second Kings, the book of Kings there, it says of a man that borrowed an axe. And he went out and started chopping along the old creek bank, and the end flew off of it, and he lost the axe, and he told Elijah, well, what am I going to do that I was borrowed? Elijah said, well, get me a stick. And he got him a stick, and old Elijah stood it in there, and it said that axe head swum to the top. He said, now you go pick that up and get it out of there. You see, he found what he needed because he trusted in the Lord. Trusted in the man of God, and he knew that it would come. Well, I was up there for another round looking for them glasses where I'd been cutting brush, and I said, I remembered that scripture, and I said, Lord, you know, if you can help that guy find an axe, surely I know you can help me find my glasses. 
And I'll bet it was in 10 minutes after I talked to the Lord about that, looked down, and there there was. And that uh, old glass of case, I picked her up, and I said, well, <laughs> the glasses wasn't in. I said, well, praise the Lord, I don't have to buy a glasses case. And, you know, he more or less said, look again. I looked, and about a foot or so over, there laid my glasses. And I was a happy boy. I was up there in them woods just to praise the Lord and thank him. Just me and the Lord up there together, and the old animals, they... Them squirrels probably thought it was crazy, but you know, a lot of people look at you when you're happy and when you're praising God. And they say, "What in the world's wrong with that guy?" I can tell you, there's nothing wrong with you when you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you feel like shouting. Many of the times, people quench the Spirit. They're afraid of what people might say or what they might think. You know, if I'm down at Walmart or if I'm down the courthouse or if I'm up in Washington D.C. and the Lord puts on me, praise the Lord, I'm I'm going to start shouting. I'm going to start praising him. Uh, down at Go-Mart getting gas the other day, and a fellow pulled in and hollered at me, and we started talking. Here comes somebody else, somebody else. And I, I just started praising the Lord. I said, come on, let's just have a prayer meeting while we're here. And I don't think they'd say anything if we had it because I go inside Go-Mart sometimes there and holler, praise the Lord, and that cashier looks back at me and does the same thing. That blesses my heart. Whenever we get on the same level, when we're trusting in God together, it doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, what walk of life, life jesus loves you and he wants to forgive you of your sins but you have to ask you have to make that commitment and when you do that great things begin to happen i was thinking here this evening when ronnie was playing and and singing and here was his lovely wife standing there holding the songbook for him and trying her best not to get beat with the neck of that guitar you know just to move now you got to be fast if you want to you know sometimes we got to be fast when when the devil comes striking at us we got to say lord i need help and i need right now because old Peter, you see, he didn't give a long prayer. When he stepped out of the boat and he began to sing, he was, Lord, save me. And I thought of the commitment that that uh, Audra made to, to Ron whenever they got married. They said, yeah, I, I love him and I'll, uh, I'll just do the best I can. He said the same thing, but I don't think she knew anything about trying to get away from my guitar. See, sometimes there's a little extra in there. Sometimes the devil throws a little extra at you, but don't be defeated. God will guide and direct us. And all of these things will be revealed in the last times. We're living in perilous times, as Paul wrote to Timothy. Perilous times will come. You're, you're a young preacher, and you're going to have problems out there. But you just keep trusting in the Lord, and He'll never, ever, ever let you down. That's the reason we come here, is to proclaim Jesus Christ as King of Kings. We don't get paid anything. Uh, all the money that's sent in, we, we use that for airtime. We come because we find joy in serving God. And God has always supplied everything we needed. I remember some nights as we would leave down when the television station was up again the hill. There's a body shop up there now, uh, down next to Advanced Auto. Buddy, when there was that much snow on the ground, once you started down off there, you was going into Route 20, really, is anybody coming or not? Now, it was slick. and I, You had to travel in faith. I remember one night Tim Coon got hung up trying to get up here and Ped told him, he said, Tim, I believe you can pick that car up and set it back out in Route 20 if you wanted to. And Tim said, well, if I thought I could, I would. But anyhow, we got a wrecker and got him out of there where he'd gotten the ditch. And, and we think about the trials and tribulation of this life. And we don't always see the things that we need to see because many of the things of God are invisible. We have to look spiritually with our spiritual eyes, with our inner being, and then we can see. As I was out running the old weed eater there today and knocking them old weeds down, it felt good. Every time I knocked one down, I'd want to hit two more. And I could see the beautiful leaves on the trees, what there is of them left. And, and you go across the road, and the old water is just flowing in the river, just crystal clear. And, and you can see the rocks in the bottom. And, boys, you just want to dive in, but, you know, it's cold enough. I don't know if we will go swimming or not, but if you want baptized, we'll go any time. It don't make any difference. God is good all the time, and he's telling us to look for the spiritual things. Looked at that old sky today, and my, how beautiful it was when, when the clouds started moving back and you could see the blue sky. There are clouds in our life that clouds up our life, and, and we can't see clearly. But if we get on our knees and we trust in the Lord, if you're not able to kneel down and just sit and pray, Lay in your bed and pray, whatever it might be. Just talk to the Lord, and He'll make them old cloudy skies go away, and He'll renew the joy and peace within your heart. In a way, 
that nothing else can possibly do. Now, we had a dandy revival here just a few weeks ago. Brother Derry Lane, Karen, came, and uh, Derry, I was so glad to see you. I enjoyed your testimony. and uh, You and Karen, just part of her family. It's I go. We appreciate you. And, you know, I could just see Derry uh, sitting back on that old recliner some nights and watching this broadcast. And I could see people up at the hospital at St. Joe and around, and, and they're just watching this broadcast from a hospital bed, maybe just needing a little boost, people at the nursing home, people in their own homes. I'm amazed at the number of people that get this broadcast clear down in the Good Hope area. Uh, George Lawrence was up with us at church uh, uh, yesterday. George, it was good to see you. And, and, you know, people come from different places and different walks of life, and we welcome you to come and to share God's goodness because God has enough love for everybody. It just runs and flows. And I believe the old Currents boy says, you sang a song, something about, I want to be under a spout where the glory pours out. But I, I want to be standing there. And I, Lord, just pour it on me. When I get enough, I'm going to give some to the, uh, my neighbor and some to this neighbor. And we'll all sing and rejoice together. I'm thankful for this scripture this evening. Thankful that you are watching. May the Lord bless you and your family and your life. And if you just give him right away, he certainly will. If you don't know him tonight, you ask him to be Lord of your life. And he said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We have prayer requests. We want to read these, and then we're going to have a prayer with you before the singers come back. Prayer request for today is Reverend Jimmy Russell. We were praying for Jimmy right before we started. Uh, Jimmy, the only prayer that we're praying is that God will be merciful. And God will carry you into heaven. You know, it's just going to be a smooth landing. We're not going to be selfish and try to hold on because the physical body, you know, it's shutting down. We know for many people this evening, but, you know, the best is yet to come. And that's what we're praying, the very best for you, that Jesus will have his will in your life. For uh, Brian Russell, Eva Russell, Mike Collins, Julie McDaniels, Joy Moran, uh, William Light, William White, I'm sorry, and for uh, Tish Dean and family, uh, Ethel Simons, for Brant Sharp, and uh, Dor, Do Do I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I know it's his wife. God bless you. <laughs> and uh, for Nathaniel Russell, Marcia Grace, uh, in critical condition, uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, uh, Sherry Dean's niece at Morgantown. We pray that Martha is still doing fine. Uh, we're praying for Martha on a regular basis. God will bless her. Uh, for Cat Channel and family, Mary Godfrey, uh, Randy Collins, Lonnie Collins, Darlene Cutright, Dottie and Becky Davis, uh, Barbara and Raymond Mackey, uh, Pam Lloyd, and for all the churches, and for our government, and for our President Obama, and for Wanda Smith, who's in the hospital, and for Dot Bauer. And we do send a special prayer for Wanda Buck. We uh, know it's your mama, and she's a special girl. Each one of you people are special. We thank you for calling in, and we take the prayer request very serious, as we do serving God. Now, we joke around and have a good time, carry on a little bit, but there's a time that we need to uh, just settle down a little bit and talk to the Lord. He said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. And we're going to place each one of these uh, in, in God's care. We pray for Evelyn and Boyles Carter this evening. We know that they have their days. Uh, uh, being at the age that they are, the physical body is just about worn out. Uh, George and Patty Racing, uh, Virgil Helmick, uh, for Van Cornell, and uh, for Kerry. And Gus, Allender, and, you know, I could just go on and on. Lawrence and Mady and uh, Elsie and Harold Lewis. And, you know, there's just hundreds of people out there. And, and you come to mind, and, and we want to have prayer for you that God will just bless you all over. And I know he will. Father, as we enter your presence, we thank you for these that have called in. Lord, we pray a special prayer for each one that's been mentioned. And, Lord, for those that we haven't mentioned this evening, you know who they are and you know what their needs are. And, Lord, we place them safe in your care, the safest place that they can ever be. 
And Lord, we just ask now that your will will be done in each life. Bless physically, spiritually, financially, whatever the need might be. Father, we trust in you. Lord, heal the one that needs healed. Uplift the one that needs uplifting. Comfort the one that needs comforted. But most of all, Lord, if there's one that is sin sick that is calling on your name right now for salvation, forgive them, Lord, as you promised you would. Cleanse them, purify them, make them whiter than snow and fit for heaven one day. And Lord, we pray this prayer in love and in joy. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Praise your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. And amen. May God bless you and keep you. We're back with you again. And we're going to let the folks sing us off the air. Good night. <clears throat> I left the paper right there, Ronnie Boy. <laughs> bless you, Darl. You know, the time when the disciple was starting the church on earth, Peter said that Jesus started his ministry with miracle, wonders, and signs. And that's the way the church was started, under the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, he said, repent, be baptized, and receive your gift of the Holy Spirit. And we found in that time that you can see why maybe people today would not see or believe the things that goes on. But Peter or Jesus' brother, James and Jude, didn't believe that he was Jesus Christ. It wasn't until he died on the cross that they believed that. So there's times with us, there's an old time saying that goes around. Uh, and when we're working under the power of the Holy Spirit and people can feel it, then what it amounts to is we may be the only Bible that they ever get to read. And that's why it's important that we do things the way we should. So for this, the one we'll do is um, be together in heaven and really look at it when you listen to the words of it. There's a lot of truth in it. Life has been so good, I can't complain. When I'm down, God gives me strength to rise again. But I'm weary from the struggle of it all. So I listen, I'll listen for his call. Heaven sounding sweeter all the time. Amen. Seems like lately. It's always on my mind Someday I'll leave this world behind Heaven sounded sweeter all the time Oh, it's hard to lose a loved one to the grave But we have the blessed hope that Jesus gave. God's gonna wipe all the tears from our eyes. When we meet in that land beyond the sky, heaven sounds sweeter of the time seemed like lately it's always on my mind someday I'll leave this world behind heaven sounding sweeter all the time you may have a fancy car, brand new house that shines from far. You may live to be a hundred years old. But if you have not been saved, it all ends with the grave. But I want us 
to be together in heaven. I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk down the streets of pure gold. I want to run through the fields of green clover. See the mansion, smell the flyer, hear the singing, it's all ours. See the river of life flowing. Feel the gentle breeze blowing. I want us to be together in heaven. You may be some millionaire wearing clothes beyond compare. You may have the best that money can buy. But if the blood is not applied, then in hell you'll lift your eye. But I want us to be together in heaven. I want us to be together in heaven. I want to walk. Down the streets of pure gold I want to run Through the fields of green clover See the mansion Smell the flower Hear the singing It's all ours See the river Of life flowing Feel the gentle breeze is blowing. I want us to be together in heaven. Amen. Next one there says for you. Okay. All right, next song. I'd like to do one here. Dedicate this one to Jimmy Ross and his family. I know what Jimmy's looking forward to, and I think his song says it best. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow, many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on, through him I must win, and though I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of a saving grace On the streets of glory let me lift my voice Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice When in service for my Lord dark may be the night But I'll cling more close to him, he will give me light Sage snares may vex the soul, turn my thoughts aside But my Lord goes ahead, leads where be tied and though I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, all my last, ever to rejoice. Low I look toward the mountain high, and behold my Savior there leading in the fight, with a tender hand outstretched toward the valley low, guiding me I can see as on would go, and though I want to see him look upon his face, there to sing forever of a saving grace, on the streets of glory let me lift my voice. Before me, billows rise from the mighty deep. 
Then the Lord directs my bark, He doth safely keep, and He leads me gently on through this world below. He's a real friend to me, oh, I love Him so, and though I Next song, I'd like to ask Alicia to come in. She'll help me on the harmonica. Let me song book right there. Next song, we'll send out to, to Dad and Mom. Brittany Cast, I know she likes this one. And Cat Channel. At the Cross, 525. All right, you want to go ahead and start it off there? And did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crime that I had done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. the sun in darkness hide and shut his glories in when Christ the mighty maker died for man the creature's sin at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Thus might I hide my blushing face while his dear cross appears. Dissolve my heart in thankfulness and melt mine eyes to tears. At the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can never repay the 
debt of love I owe. Dear Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Okay. All right, next song we'd like to send out to uh, Joy Moran, to, to Joan Knight, Julie McDaniels, also to Lawrence Mady Hamner. He touched me. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath a load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I am no longer the same He touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now touched me Something happened and now 